Before we go any further, we need to talk a minute about what After Effects projects really are. First thing you need to know about After Effects projects is that they basically save all of your work. They have this .aep file extension, short for After Effects Project. Any animation that you make, any effects that you apply in those settings, all that stuff is saved with an After Effects project. Now, if you're new to the world of video, this concept will probably be very new to you, but After Effects only saves links to imported files. So if you import a video file or a Photoshop file, for example, the file is actually not stored in the After Effects project. The After Effects project only maintains a link to the original file. So if you move, rename, or delete the source file, After Effects will not be able to find it. This is the way that most video programs work because video files are so large that you wouldn't want them to be on your hard drive and stored in the project as well. This also allows you to have more flexibility when you're creating your project so you can import things and not really worry about increasing the size of your project very much at all. And that's because After Effects project files tend to be very small. Next thing you need to know is that the .aep file format for projects is not an output format. Because most programs don't understand the .aep file format, you'll need to render out into a common format like a .mov file or .avi file so that those programs will understand the work that you've done in After Effects. Also, you could only open up one project at a time. If you were to go to the File menu and select File Open Project, they would ask you what you want to do with the current project. Do you want to save it or close it or whatever because it can't have this current project and a new current project open at the same time. You also create new projects from the file menu by going to File, New, New Project. Again, that will completely wipe out everything you have going on and start completely fresh from scratch. This is completely different than creating just a new composition, which we'll look at in the next chapter. Note that there are also many options for saving, such as Save As if you'd like to rename a file or save it in a different location. You can save a copy of a project. You can save a copy as an XML file. And you could also increment and save. Let's say, for example, this project is called After Effects Projects. If we clicked increment and save, it would save this project as After Effects Projects 01. If we clicked it again, it would be After Effects Projects 02 and so on. Now, one other thing you need to be aware of as far as projects go is that importing is not opening. We will see an import command and an open project command. Importing is for bringing files into the current project, as we'll talk about in the next movie. But opening, again, will open an entirely new project. One of the cool things about After Effects, though, is you could actually import an entire After Effects project. So if you worked on a project a long time ago and there was an element in that project you wanted to use in your current project, you don't have to close the current project. You just import the old project and use whatever assets from that project you want to use. So that's what you need to know about After Effects projects. Again, make sure that you save your projects often. After Effects is fairly stable, but it does crash from time to time. And sometimes with like tedious animation jobs, those things are hard to duplicate. So you want to make sure that your work is backed up. Also remember that After Effects is linking to your project files. So you might want to get them in a good, safe location, a location that probably won't change before you import them into your After Effects projects. Now that we know what projects are, let's get into importing footage in the next movie.